If you're a golfer or you know a golfer, you, you know you can play an entire round of golf really poorly, but if you happen to birdie that last hole, that's what keeps you coming back. Mindy Dirk created For Hope 33 years ago to help give those with multiple sclerosis a reason to come back. And then Mindy needed her own reason for hope when MS hit her like a three wood in the back of the head. And now she wants to raise the bar. So I asked her to tell me more. That's it, William. That's beautiful. Mindy Durr has been finding beauty in the game of golf for as long as she can remember. And she remembers a lot. My mom suddenly had ovarian cancer and died at the time dad was diagnosed. It was awful. And my sister had MS. She remembers starting for Hope in 1989 in Lorraine before a conversation with Barbara Nicholas. She says, you know, she really did. She said, Mindy, you might want to come to Columbus with this program. Ohio Health absorbed the program that empowers those with neurological conditions like her sister and her dad had, like she has. <clears throat> Sorry. It was um, one night uh, and it was like a boulder hit me on my head all the way down my spine. MS meant that Mindy couldn't walk into the hospital, like but her, church, her but doctor really. gave her hope. And he said, you will walk? And I said, but will I golf? And he, he says, of course you will. She said he didn't have to say that, but he did. She didn't have to start for hope either. I was just going through rehab and had to learn how to walk and talk and do everything else, but I always have a love for golf. William is a Vietnam vet with traumatic brain injury. I love every moment of being with for hope, and that's a blessing. Or maybe she did. Just favor over people's life because golf is the second chance. And now I've seen it 360 degrees for 33 years. Now Mindy wants to create a golf wellness program for everyone. When you have something good, you have to share it, right? Absolutely. And that's my next step. One that stretches well beyond Columbus, Ohio, like hitting that perfect drive right down the middle of the fairway. It's a pretty good ending to the story. <laughs> it is. Hmm. Yeah, when you have somebody in the family, you go, okay, you need to start something. Then 33 years later, Ohio Health has absorbed yeah. that program, made it even bigger, uh, made it better for a lot of people. And now she says, why don't we, it got a good idea, why don't we spread it around the country? I love it. And to see it already having such a great impact on so many different people. And it's something that it seems so simple, but, you know, obviously not has a big effect on Not for on these that. folks, yeah. yeah.